Well guys, it's time for another exciting video. And today's video is even gonna be more exciting because it's a two-parter. In the first part, I'm gonna to go to a few Goodwills where we're gonna have a lot of fun. And then in the second part, it's a bonus section where I go over items that I bought in the past and I update you on what they sold for. It should be a lot of fun. So as usual, just sit there and enjoy. I'll do all the work, you do all the enjoyment. Okay, we're ready to begin. everyone before we start the video I'd like to give a shout out to two fans Margaret M and your journey is not my journey they both leave the nicest comments so I just wanted to say hi to them okay now let's get on with the journey but before we do I know you said where's the trivia question well here it is in what year did the first Nerf gun hit the market and what was the name of that Nerf gun you know sometimes you pick up Nerf guns you can make a lot of money on them I'll give you the answer to that trivia question later on in the video, but for now, let's get thrifting. Well, guys, here we are at the first store of the day. You know, I haven't been to this store in maybe three or four months, maybe even a little bit longer. So I'm kind of curious what new stuff they have. So you guys just line up behind me and we'll head inside. This first I'll have some calculators and some adding machines. Nothing exciting. I saw this group of cables, but for four ninety eight I had to leave it right where it was. Then it was this cheap clock and I wasn't finding anything exciting yet, guys. But then I did see this twelve volt battery charger for the Power Wheels cars. They were a dollar ninety eight. They go for like twenty five dollars, so in the cart it went. Well, update on the charger. So for $19.90 plus $6.95 shipping. I keep telling you guys, if you see these chargers, pick them up. They do sell and they do sell fast. Okay, now back to the video. I came over to this aisle because it looked like it had a lot better stuff than that last aisle. The first thing I saw were these candle holders. They were 99 cents. But I couldn't make any money on them, so I had to leave them there. They did have some nice stuff on this aisle, though. That ceramic book, that really nice-looking bowl. But I passed on them. Then I saw this nurse figure. It was made by Lefton. But it was $3.99, and that was too much, so I, I left it. Then I saw this Sylvester. I guess it's a pencil holder. I passed on that, too, and I moved to the next aisle. The thrifting winds brought me over to this aisle. And the first thing I saw that interested me was this roller magic. But see, it says as seen on TV. That means it probably only retail for $9.99 anyway, so I just left it. Then I saw these stamps. Some crazy person labeled them $8.98, so they had to stay there too. Then I saw this magic sponge. My nephew Michael turned me on to these. They clean everything, and for $1.29, I was taking it. So thanks again, Michael. This next aisle had a ton of glassware on it. It's like someone said, let's put out all our glassware and see if we can get rid of it in one day. And it was just junky glassware too. But I did see this Pyrex measuring bowl for $3.98. I looked them up, they were going for $20. So I thought I'd take a chance with it. Well guys, we're not going to get rich at what we found at this store. But the day's still young. We got another store to go to. So let me pay for this, and I'll meet you guys out in the car. Well, guys, we didn't do too well at that store. But what I did is I called up the next Goodwill that we're going to be heading to, and I asked for the manager, and I said, Look, I was just at the last Goodwill, and I didn't find much. So could you please put out a whole bunch of good and interesting stuff, because Gino's on, the, on his way. Well, she said, Who the heck is Gino? Then she hung up the phone. But I'm not taking that as a negative because I think that she might have hung up the phone so she had more time to put out the good stuff. So we'll know when we get there. Okay, sit back. About 10 minutes we'll be there. As soon as I got to this store, the manager walked over and wanted to kick me out because she read Gino on my hat. 
Well, I convinced her that it must have been another Gino that called, so she let me stay. Okay, it's on with our journey. First thing I saw in this aisle was this Swin bicycle tube. It was three ninety nine. A little expensive, so I left it. Then I saw this light-up golf ball for 99 cents. I said it lights up at night. I guess someone who wants to play golf in the middle of the night would pretty much enjoy this. So I, I took it. They go for about 12 bucks. Then I went back to the shelf, and I saw this set of three golf balls by TaylorMade. They were going for 399 But on eBay, you can get 15 bucks for them, so I took these too. This next aisle was their toy aisle. First thing I saw was these art blocks, but I passed on them. I've seen them before. Then I saw this Disney princess puzzle. It was only 99 cents, but it was taped shut. So that meant it was probably missing pieces. So I put it back. This was a magic trick set for 99 cents, but I've seen them before. They don't go for that much. So I left that also. But then I saw this Nerf. This Nerf gun, it was called Barricade. It was brand new in a box, and I rarely find them new in a box. It was only $3.99, so I took this one. I started to walk down this aisle. I wasn't seeing much. But then I did notice this Texas Hold'em game. It was in a tin, it was $2.99. But everything inside that tin sounded broken, so I just left it. Then I saw these. They were $4.99. I don't know exactly what they are, but maybe you guys do. Tell me in the comments section. A little bit further down the aisle was this antenna rotator. It was $5.99. Ham operators use it to rotate their directional antennas. They go for like $40, $50, so I put this in the cart. Next, I walked right over to this aisle because I saw this Easy Read keyboard. I've sold them before. They go for about 15 bucks. This one was $3.99. A little bit expensive, but I figured I could make money on it, so I kept it. Well, I saw their new bins, so I definitely wanted to go take a look and see what was in them. When I walked over, I looked in this first bin, and I saw this General Electric Motion Sensing Adapter. It was only $1.99. I didn't even bother looking it up. I figured, how can I go wrong? A movement detector for $1.99? I kept looking through the rest of the bins and didn't see anything exciting, so I moved on. In this next aisle, I saw this pressure washing gun. It was $4.99. I could probably use it to wash my car, and if any of you guys want to come over and wash my car, you're more than welcome. But I passed on it. Next to it, I saw this bicycle chain cleaning set. I didn't even know they made bicycle chain cleaning sets. But for $2.99... I figured I could make 20 bucks off it, so I put it in a cart. This next aisle had a lot of Christmas stuff. The first thing I saw that I liked was this snowman teapot. It was $3.99. I passed on it, but I should have taken it. Look how cute it is. Oh well. Then I saw this Harry Potter Hallmark ornament for $3.99. You guys know I don't like Hallmark ornaments, but I like Harry Potter, so I took them. Wow, guys, what a haul. I guess the manager did put some good stuff out for us. I guess she didn't want anybody to know. That's why she threatened to kick me out. So, But whatever. I'll meet you out in the car. Well, guys, it's time for me to go. I'm a little sad, and I hope you guys are too. But all good things must come to an end. But here's the answer to the trivia question. In what year did the first Nerf gun hit the market? That was 1989. It was called Blast of Ball. They actually used a little ball. But in 1992, they came out with their first dart shooting gun, which is the more familiar gun of today. It was called Sharpshooter. Well, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please tell a friend about this video. But most of all, stay safe out there, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, there's a bonus video coming up. Don't you go anywhere. This is the bonus section of this video. What I do in this section is I take excerpts from older videos where I bought stuff, then I break in and I update you guys on what they sold for. We usually have a lot of fun, and it's pretty interesting too. So let's get started. Yes, I don't know what it is. It's, it's exciting. Oh, it's a cow cookie jar. 
Hopefully it's not broken. Not broken. There you go, hold that. Put the little cow head on. I like it. Fifteen, twenty dollars. Nice find. I found that cow while I was out garbage picking, so I had zero invested in it. So I was thrilled when it ended up selling for $14.95. Plus, they also paid $14.95 to ship it. So I made a lot of money and 100% profit on an item I found in the trash. Go figure. Okay, now on to the next item. Their electronic aisle was up next. I saw that adding machine. It was $6.99, but I didn't want it. It was the Cuisinart can opener. Didn't want that either. This drill, I gave it a look, but for $7.99, too expensive, I passed. Then I saw this Norelco shaver. It was $5.99. I looked up the model number. It was going for $40, so in the cart it went. When I got that Norelco shaver home, I was examining it, and I realized that it had already been open. So I couldn't sell it for new, which meant I couldn't ask the $40 that I wanted for it. But what I did do is I listed it for $24.95 plus $9.95 shipping as an open box. Well, it still sold a few days later, so I ended up making a decent profit anyway. Okay, now on to the next item. I walked on over to their toy aisle. I'm usually lucky at this store with their toys, so I always make sure I get a good... What is this Senior Moments game? Hmm. $1.99. I don't remember if I ever played that game before. Next to it was this Hello Kitty for $2.99. I figured I could get 12 bucks for that, so I put it in the cart. Did I ever play that game before? Well, when I got that Hello Kitty alarm clock home, I realized that it wasn't just an alarm clock. It was a night light. It played music. It said good morning. So I figured it would be a pretty easy sell. So I listed it for $12.95 plus $5.25 shipping. A few days later, I got an offer for $11.95. So I took the offer and now the alarm clock at someone else's house. Okay, now on to the next item. This first aisle had a couple of footballs on it. So I figured I might as well look up one and see what they were going for. This Wilson Nemesis, was they were asking $3.99, but it was only selling for $10. So I put I just put it back. Then I saw this metal truck. It said Granny's Homemade Pies. It was $6.99. I wasn't going to get it, but then look who's in the front seat. It's Tweety Bird. So I wanted to look it up. Well, I did look up that Tweety Bird truck, and I found one on eBay for $29.95. So I figured I'd list mine there and see what happened. Well, nothing happened. I lowered the price on it the next week, nothing. I kept lowering the price, and still nothing. I had to get it down to $10.95 before it sold. So all in all, it ended up not to be a very good purchase, but I do know one thing. I still love Tweety. Okay, now on to the last item. This aisle had some glass candle holders. Actually, it had a lot of glass candle holders. Next to them, it had this bathroom stuff. Nothing I saw that I could make money on. Then I saw this gorgeous piece of art glass. It was $4.99. It was signed Eckert 1996. I looked these up. This guy's really well known for his glass work. They were going for over $50. Turned out it was a perfume bottle. This thing was not leaving my cart. Well, guys, I really like that piece of art glass. Even after I found out it was just a perfume bottle, it didn't matter. I really, really liked it. It was that pretty. So I listed it on eBay on bid for $59.95, and I didn't get any bids. So a couple weeks later, I put it on for $59.95, or best offer. I got three offers. The first offer was for $32, I refused it. The next offer was for $34, I refused that. And then a couple of days later, I got an offer for $36.95. So I kind of figured that that's what people were willing to pay for this, so I accepted that offer. So I got $36.95 plus $9.95 shipping. It was a really nice profit on that item. I was expecting more, but what you expect sometimes isn't what happens. Okay guys, well that's it for today. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. Please stay safe out there. Don't forget to tell a friend about this video, and I'll see you soon.
拜拜。